is I want to go these mouse trap. I changed the name to mouse trap power vehicle instead of car because the one that I built doesn't really look like a car, but it's a vehicle. I built one that's similar to what Tanya's doing right now. Is it actually blue? What it's doing. What's the question? Is it actually blue? It definitely actually moves. Okay, if not, if you have a question, raise your hand. Okay. All right. So what we did at the very beginning was identify the problem, right? We're using the design process. The problem was to build a mousetrap powered vehicle or a car is what we started. Y'all researched the problem. You're creating solutions. So where do you think y'all been now? What have you been doing recently? Oh, uh, modeling the solution. Modeling the solution. You're making models. Then some of you, how many of y'all are done with your car and have actually tested it? Nobody. Anybody tested their car yet? Okay, so nobody in here has. I have very few people that have done some of this. Can you raise your hand? Raise it up high. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Share your hands. Okay, anyway, so did you test it? I know it didn't go very far, so I rebuilt it, and I tried it again, and it went further, but I just... Okay, what was it doing wrong that you changed? It kept going on the back. Wow, but me, wow. Hey, you guys, be quiet and let her talk. It kept going on the back, so it's not going to... Okay, so what you were doing was after you tested the solution, you were doing the last and one, then right? You found the problem. You were, you, were fine, you improved uh -huh. the solution, then you went back, and then you tested it again. So again, we're using the loop. You went back, you tested the solution. That's good. You're using the design loop. That's what I want all of you to do because right now, we're modeling it. When you're done, you're going to test it. After you test it, I have a feeling that none of you in here are going to, right when you're done, going to be like, that's as good as it gets. It's done. It doesn't get any better than that right there. If anybody does that, I would be very, very surprised. Most of the time when you do it, something is not quite right. And you're like, hmm. I mean, I had somebody the other day thought that you were like, I'm taking it in the hole. I'm going to get it to go. And they're like, going and went, didn't do anything. Right? Might, that might happen to you. And it might be like, but what do you do then? You look at it, you figure it out. Is something not turning? Axle? Something not what? And that's when you're like figuring it out. You're refining your solution. You're doing some more brainstorming. You're like just working it out using this design process, right? So when you're done, you're not done. Okay? It's basically what I'm telling you. Even when you get done, I want you to look it over and you can always improve a solution, pretty much, even if yours is working really great. Okay? But if it's working really fine and everything, we may not need to do very much to it, just a few little things. Okay? But until then, you're still just on the creating your solution and you'll be testing it when you're done, right? How many people are really close to finishing theirs and getting it time to oh, test it? Over here. A lot of people. How many people feel like they're still very far away? Raise your hand for those of people who don't know about. Still very far away. Okay. All right. Well, then we'll work on that. How many of those people that feel far away have the materials they need, but they're still working out the how to get the materials together? Oh, wait, never mind. So, all oh, these people that are still working on it, you still need your materials too? I already got some materials. Specific materials. I got more of those little rubber things. I got more of the axle thing. And uh, who, who doesn't have a mouse trap yet? Should everybody should have a mouse trap? Y'all don't have mouse traps. No, no, no. Wow. How many people again? Raise your hand. Keep your hand up. Or I can tell how many to get. You might get them at lunch. Did you say, Hiro, that you don't have a mouse trap? Yes. You don't have a mouse trap. No. No. Okay. <laughs> who else? Raise your hand. Real high doesn't have a mouse trap. Iro, raise your hand real high. You're one of those that doesn't have a mouse trap. So that's four of you, right? So I need to come up with four mouse traps. All right, the rest of the stuff I think I have. Okay, now how many of you are ready to work on your mouse trap? Me, right here. Okay, now listen. You go out to the shop, put on safety glasses, be very careful. Here, one more thing. Because I've seen people not using the tools right. If you are not cutting just regular wood on the bandsaw, come ask me first if you can cut something on it. 
Alright? If you're not using larger pieces of wood on the disc sander, come ask me first. You can do it. Yesterday I had people trying to make their dowels smaller by doing it on the sander. We don't do that. We have different size dowels for a reason. Okay? So, did y'all catch that? If you're, if you're doing something a little bit different, and you're like, ooh, maybe I could use this tool to do that, come ask me first, because it's probably not how we use that tool. Okay. Okay? Yes, Does everybody sir. understand? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. All right, now, do y'all have any questions for me? No, sir. Oh, before you get started. I mean, because I'll work with you individually, but if anybody has some question they can, that I can answer right now, let me know. Yes, sir. Nothing? Oh. Okay, no. get your goggles and go on out there. Be careful.